and one that Channel 4 would hang, you know, wanted to hang on to. So I would think if Joe DiNardo said, and you know what, instead of action news, I think we'll call it DiNardo news. <laughs> I mean, they would have, okay, Joe, anything you say, anything you say. And I mean, that's the reality. I mean, certain people in the business uh, develop uh, power and the ability to bargain. But you have to admit that the reason he's developed that standing in the community is because he's a real person. Absolutely. He's he is a real, a real person. person. I've talked to him and I've touched him and I know he's real. <laughs> well, I had a story about him a long time ago, right out of high school, that yes. uh, I feel real bad about. Maybe you guys know about this, but. Uh, a long time ago, he was receiving his brand new automobile, and I was working at this car dealership at this point in time. At this uh, particular instance, he was to receive the car, oh, two or three days before the actual release of the new models. Me being a young high school child, just driving for the first time, no, not really for the first time, but he was standing there in the lot, and I was odd, I would guess, and pulling into the lot, I did not realize that I had Yes, this is true. I ran and I hit into the pole. And I never heard Joe Denardi use language like that before, but nevertheless, I can understand why. I he said, didn't say an upper air, a loft. He said, he really was, he was, so you found out he was a real person. That's I did. Very <laughs> real and genuine. And I love him. He does great work. <laughs> I know that you're very, you're being very That's discreet. I know story. the car you're talking about. Yeah, it was me. Um, you do? That's a great story. I love it. Hey, thanks for the call. Very good. Bye bye. Thank you. We're having fun with Sally Wigan. Time's gonna fly. Three 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 PCNC, and we still don't know what cartoon character she has a crush on. But I am going to get to the bottom of it when Cullen on Cable continues. Oops. Don't look at my notes. Hi, welcome back. Lynn Cullen here with. Uh, an old friend. Uh, no, I'm not old. I didn't mean that. I mean a friendship of some duration with this woman, Sally uh, Wigan, who's uh, obviously being very forthright because she's already told everybody how old she is. Okay, so you just, she told me before we went on the air that you saw this. I, I, I took three, um, three young girls, one 15, they're all sisters, one 15, one 11, and one four, and the four-year-old, uh, who's named Stevie, has never been to a movie. She's, uh, so she, and she was. You're getting just, off the subject. Well, I want to know. We went to see Mulan. We went to Mulan see Mulan. And and the minute the guy <laughs> came on, I went, oh. I know. I did too. And I thought this is I, so pathetic. I know. Falling in love with it. I have a crush, and yeah. I'm going to go see it again. I know. I, I have to tell Not you. Not because I, I thought she was wonderful. Because you want to look at I him. love the horse too. Yeah, I the horse is the okay, horse. but the guy is really cool. Yeah. Mulan, the uh, Disney uh, new Disney animated feature. I took my son to it too, and when they introduced the obvious male lead, Prince Charming, I did the same thing. I said, Oh, wow. I mean, he's gorgeous. No, but they don't kiss. Well, that's he's a cartoon what character. Cartoon characters kiss. I was well, thinking about Superman kiss sometimes. Okay, but we were Superman thinking. Comic books. How pathetic is it? <laughs> two, two women in love with a cartoon character. I mean, that is pathetic. And do you know how many little girls are too? I'm sure. I'm sure. Well, that's okay. He's cool. He is and, cool. And, he's and, cool. And the neat thing about that film is, is uh, they finally really did it. The lead, the strongest character, the bravest and character, she saves the most powerful else. character, the hero is a girl. But of course, he's pretending to be a boy. But it's how they. It's how, the only way she could do it. Right. 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 Um, I want to really quickly run down some things. Uh, we got. You want to take some calls? Yeah, we do. But. How much sleep? I got no sleep last night, but I was thinking as I was not sleeping last night. Well, you're interviewing Sally in the morning, and she doesn't sleep, so maybe you'll be on the same. Well, I mean, you get home at what? After midnight, maybe. Midnight. Okay, midnight. about midnight. And I happen to know that this woman like is going places at seven in the morning and eight in the morning. What the heck? I mean, until so by the time I have to stop. By the time people first see you, like at uh, <clears throat> five, at five is the first show you do. You've already been running all day, and your day is actually just starting. Yeah, I, you're I saying you have to I, stop. I, and and, and I've, I've, I was away for two weeks on vacation, and I, I realized that um, sleep really is one of the most important things you can do for longevity, so that you feel good, to boost your immune system. And um, you're not doing so, it. Well, no, I, I, I now try to get to sleep at 12:30. I'm, I'm, I'm exhausted enough that I can fall asleep at quarter of one, and then I'm trying to sleep 
sleep until 8.30. I really am. I get up, it's, I'll wake up at 7.30. Um, the dogs will wake me up. One of them will, but the others are old and, and half dead, so they sleep until Sally later. collects half dead dogs, and this is something that's generally not known about her. Half dead strange dogs on top of it. They're all about the size of small horses, and they're all dying. And they're the only <laughs> dog she will take. I know you're asking, wondering how many she has, but we'll just uh, tease you about that. But I'm on the edge of being If you being have eccentric. a half-dead large dog <laughs> and you're trying to get rid of it, Sally uh, really is probably the person to call. <laughs> okay, listen. I think I'm kidding. Hey, there's another Sally on the line here. Okay. Sally, say hi to Sally. Good morning. Good, good morning. Hi. Good morning, Sally. Are you a Sarah? Uh, no. Okay. No, I have been a Sally ever since I was born. Yeah, I'm a Sarah. People don't realize that Sally is the is the nickname for Sarah in the dictionary. And do you know that means we are a, both a princess? Yes, and I have been accused of that. <laughs> what do you mean it's a princess? Repeatedly. Sarah means princess in Hebrew, right, Sally? Right. Yeah, you didn't know that, did you? I only took seven years of Hebrew. You'd expect it means me to princess. know that. Okay. Mm -hmm. We it means knew something you didn't, Lynn. Nin, 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 nin. Oh, I love that, Sally. Good so, for I'm honest, I keep. Uh, so, uh, and I have to say, Lynn, I enjoy Sally so much when she's on your girlfriend shows. Me too, but she won't do it anymore because I embarrass her. No. Oh, I hope she will. No, I, I, I'll do it again. She did embarrass me once. She called me, what did she call me, an apologist? for? I don't uh, know. You, it wasn't was, embarrassed. She got mad at me. I, I wanted to know I the got She was furious with me. Okay, but well, I... Well, Sally, I have to say that you are my favorite <laughs> news person in Pittsburgh. Well, aren't you, And I, I feel so guilty for holding your feet to the fire for something that the station does. Oh, no. Oh, that's I, okay because, I, I, you know, I figured I was going to get some of that today. Well, I, I think that it's something that as professional a person as you are, that you probably uh, are as turned off by it as I am but are not in a position to say so. But I really object to those graphics that they run throughout the news that obscure the bottom 20% of the screen and sometimes take away from what is being shown that you, you know, it's really something that's down near the bottom. But even worse than that is the fact that at least once a program there is a terribly misspelled comment on that graphic. Where's misspelling? Where's misspelling when we need why it? Why they do it and two, why they don't at least edit whoever is doing the printing of those graphics. I, I, I will have to tell you, Sally, that <clears throat> you'll find misspelling, though, occurs in, in some of the loftiest uh, uh, of, of media institutions like the New York Times. Misspellings found it everywhere. Um, in, in, in every the, night? Well, <laughs> in, in the crunch of what's going on, there are actually people do look over things. But um, I, I will have to tell you, I've gone over copy when I'm in a hurry or when something happens at the last minute or there's there's just bedlam going on. And um, See, I'll, look over a... something, <laughs> I'll look over something she's and I'll swear that it's apologize. correct. And then when I see it on the air or when I see it in the prompter, I go, <gasps> and it's something that I've looked okay. over. I, I think that's one of the things. As far as the graphics are concerned, Sally, yeah. there have been other people who have complained to us. I, I, I know we've gotten complaints about the graphics, but part of it is it's, if, you'll, if you'll notice, mm. that is the way all of television is going. The networks have changed their graphics. They're flashier. They're bigger. They're what? What are There's you doing? There's graphics right here, right under you, right? right? They're trying to, what they're doing is they're trying to catch your eye because with it's it, and it's interesting I was watching one of the national talk shows and everything the guest was saying was see I don't watch much television and so when I was off for this two weeks I was watching TV and I was just I, I, I was like amazed everything the guest was saying they were ma doing graphics underneath like people can't listen themselves but I think people are assuming or, or producers are assuming that you're coming in and walking in and out of rooms you're changing with your remote that's the key you're changing with your remote all the time so they have to catch your eye quickly and the only way to do it is big that's what I'm. I, I, that's what I'm assuming because Sally, it's happening everywhere. Yeah. Sally, well, I do know that the misspellings have turned me off so badly that at times I've gone away to another station for oh. one or two days. But I can't until they misspell you. Something. Oh, don't do that. But, well, that, I, I always end up coming back and gritting my teeth and the uh, whole bit. But I really enjoy you and your personality shows through. 
And please go back to the girlfriend show once in a while. I, well, I definitely will. I did. I, I know. Did well, you know what I'll do? I'll have a former girlfriend show, and then Sally can come on. And all the girlfriends <laughs> I've enraged on the girlfriend show can come on. The enraged well, actually, former girlfriends. Yeah, actually, I've enraged every single one of them. It's not easy being well, my girlfriend. Well, we're still your friends. Isn't it? They're wonderful. Long-suffering friends of Lynn Cullen show. That's what we'll do. We'll be back in just a moment.